What's going on everybody? It is your boy Dylan Matthews back at it again with another hometown take and today I'm talking about the Atlanta Falcons. I know the video is a little bit late so hopefully it still does good. Sure it will because you guys are awesome. All my subscribers and all you people watching that aren't even my subscribers make sure you subscribe first of all and make sure you know that you're awesome for watching this video but let's go ahead and get right into the video after this Make sure you like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel like I just said. Make sure you check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Falcons to some more wins. Also check out the second link in my description box to subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast. Me and girl Samoa, we do this as she likes to say, are talking to your favorite former and current athletes, hosts, anchors, reporters, head coaches, all that good stuff. So make sure you like the pie, listen to the pie, Download the pod, subscribe to the pod, share the pod out to your friends so they can listen to the pod, like the pod, download the pod, subscribe to the pod, and share it out to their friends, friends, who you don't even know about. So, let's go ahead and right to the video. It's Victory Week. It's not Victory Monday, not Victory Tuesday, not Victory Wednesday. It's Victory Week because the Atlanta Falcons won their Week 5 matchup against the New York Jets in London for uh, going into their bye week. So it's victory week. That's why it's victory week. They they celebrating their win for a whole week. Always good to get a W going into the bye week. Make you feel good about yourselves. Get some rest and recovery all while sitting on that pretty dub. So Atlanta Falcons won by a score of 27 to 20. I am really, really, really impressed with the play calling of Arthur Smith. He talked about it in his post-game press conference where he didn't want to make the same mistake twice. He learned from last week because we all know. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. These views are not good right now. Anyways, not that bad. We all know that second to last drive against the Washington football team where we had a chance to really milk the clock, waste some clock, waste the game away. And we had a three and out and wasn't acceptable. We got to be able to waste clock, finish games. Offense had a chance to really, you know, put that game away and not put our defense in that position. Now the defense again, in the game giving up a touchdown but we still if the offense had a chance to not put our defense in that position they should have been able to execute and waste a lot more clock than that and put a little bit more pressure on the Washington football team and they did but he learned from his mistake in New York or in Atlanta playing the Washington football team he learned against he learned from his mistake that's what I'm trying to say can't get more words out right now but he learned from his mistake and it was a very 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 good game for the offense in New York. Really a good game for the team overall. The offense was balanced in running and passing. Um, Cordell Patterson, Mike Davis, I think Cordell Patterson had 13 carries for 54 yards, and Mike Davis had 14 carries for 53 yards, and a touchdown, a uh, rushing touchdown, Mike Davis had his first rushing touchdown of the season. Cordero, no, Cordell Patterson didn't have a touchdown in this game. He had some explosive plays as usual, but didn't have a rushing touchdown. Kyle Pitts, though, he that boy went off against the Jets. Something we were waiting for Kyle Pitts um, to have a breakout game. That really had his first really, really great game of the year up in London. He had, I um, can't forget, he had 10, 11 receptions, like 116 yards, and a touchdown. First touchdown of the game. So, shouts out to Kyle Pitts and congratulations to Kyle Pitts for getting his first touchdown of his young NFL career. First of many, hopefully first of many with the Atlanta Falcons. And uh, he had a great game. And I mean, Kyle Pitts, Hayden Hurst, they had great games. The tight ends had great games. Cordell Patterson had his usual explosive game. So it was a great showing all around for the offense. And I was really, really impressed with the play calling of Arthur Smith. Like I said, run was balanced. Run and pass game, that it was really balanced. And that's what we like to see. You know, when we get that run game, at least make it effective, we ran for 100 yards um last sunday and i mean was the last time we this team rushed for 100 yards it's it's been a while it's been a minute it's been far 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 too long so i was really impressed with the balance the run game and the passing game because when matt ryan is able to run an effective play action passing game i mean that's when you really see that mvp come out when he has time to do stuff when the team has to respect the run he can just slice and dice a defense like no other so it was really great for Matt, for for us for the offense to show that. And Matt Ryan obviously had another great game. He's been great really the past two three weeks. So 
great, great showing by the offense. And like I said, I'm loving the play calling from Arthur Smith. You can tell he learned from his mistake last week. And you can tell this offense just starting, starting to really come together. It seems like everybody, the players are starting to get comfortable with Arthur Smith's play call. It seems like the offensive line is developing and really starting to gel and get better together. Jalen Mayfield's getting a whole lot better. Matt Hennessy, he's getting a whole lot better. So it seems like the guys are just playing better. It seems like they're ready. It seems like Arthur Smith is finally showing why he got this head coaching job. And so I'm liking it. The defense was, you know, I know they went against the Jets, but they're still pretty good. Only, you know, allowed them to 20 points. And going back to the offense real quick, the offense probably would have scored even more points if it wasn't for those fumbles by Mike Davis and Hayden Hurst that both got lost. So the offense was looking at maybe putting a forty bug on the Jets' head if they wouldn't have had those two fumbles because their offense was humming and clicking on all cylinders. So I was just really impressed by the play calling. I was really impressed with Arthur Smith. I was impressed by the players. But I will say this. You were supposed to do that against the Jets. I mean, this is a one-win football team for a reason. You did what you were supposed to do. So I'm not going to get too high on this win because – you did what you were supposed to do. Now, you got a very winnable game coming up in a couple of weeks against Miami. You got a bye week this week. Get your rest, get your recovery. Hopefully get some guys healthy and get some guys back. And we got to beat Miami too. Got to get to 500 if we really want to make something shake here. Can't be floating around bottom of, you know, under 500, all that stuff. Get to 500. And then we got, we got two tests coming up. One against the Panthers, one against the Saints, back to back. So we got Miami. Carolina, then New Orleans, all back to back to back. That's going to really show where this football team is at. Can we compete with Carolina? Because, you know, Carolina's not all that in a bag of chips. They're a good football team, but they're not all that in a bag of chips. It's a winnable football game. So we got to take care of Carolina. Got to take care of New Orleans. We can take care of those two teams, and we got to take care of Miami, too. We can, we can take care of these three games, then okay, we can actually make something shake. We can make a playoff run, you know, maybe do something. And I'm, all I'm worried about is getting to the dance at this point. I ain't going to talk about nothing further than that. I just want to get to the dance. I want this football team to be competitive and be trending in the right direction. If this football team makes the playoffs. It's a successful successful season in my eyes. So that's what I'm worried about when it comes to this Atlanta Falcons football team. But having did not didn't do my victory Monday or, you know, victory week video. So I want to go ahead and give you guys that excited about the Atlanta Falcons season. Like I said, it looks like everything's really starting to come into form. Looks like these guys are playing better. Matt Ryan looks like he's getting comfortable under the new system. Looks like the offense is starting to work like Arthur Smith wants it to. We're running the football a lot better, which we know Arthur Smith coming in wanted to put and was going to put an emphasis on the run game. So I love to see it that the run game's finally coming to fruition because when we got a good play action game, which you know, you can have a good play action game without having a good run game, but you want to have that physicality. It looks like that physicality up front is finally starting to show. looks like this offensive line is finally starting to move some people backwards, and that's what we like to see. So I'm just really happy with how this football team is progressing. It seems like we're getting better and better every week. So we got to keep doing that as we start to play some of these better football teams out here. So we took care of business against the Jets. We have to continue to take care of business. So great win. I love what I saw. But again, we did what we're supposed to do. Now we got to continue to handle business and we'll see what we're about when we take on some better football teams. Coming up, no shade to the Jets, just truth. I mean, we were supposed to beat the Jets. We are a better football team than the Jets. And we did what we had to do. Good fo fo good football teams still beat the teams that was the, what we good football teams still beat the team that they're supposed to, and that's what we did. So I'm impressed. I'm happy. I am good with taking this victory week. So make sure you guys like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, check out the first link in the description box to buy me coffee to help fuel this channel help fuel the atlanta falcons to some more wins and check out the second link in my description box to subscribe to the tough calls podcast when me and girls from only this resorts are talking to your favorite favorite former and current host i don't know why i just can't talk today guys huh well i was out of breath i had to take a little walk i'm um uh, someone and i are on vacation with her family so we doing uh we out here and where are we right now we in um where are we i forgot where we are but we're in some really nice place in mountains and stuff. Anywho, like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee if you can. Check out the second link to subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast. And until I talk to you guys next time, stay true to Atlanta. Peace. Oh, and hold up. Pump fake. Go Braves, by the way, in the NLCS. So good luck to Atlanta Braves out here. Hopefully we can uh, take care of some unfinished business. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be against the Giants or the Dodgers. So we'll see what happens. But... 
Shout out to the Braves. Good luck to them. And go Falcons. Stay true to Atlanta. Hawks season about to start soon, too. We lit. Peace.